reasons as to why a shinobi no mono should be employed. He must have five basic elements. Loyalty, courage, strategy, achievement, including worthy deeds, and fidelity. And on top of these, a healthy body. He must be gentle at normal times and have a keen sense of righteousness but little need of desires. He needs to be fond of learning the principles of things and never forget his indebtedness to others. He must be fluent in speech, deep in thought, quick in communicating with people at normal times and difficult to deceive, especially by using logic to avoid falling for smooth talking traps. He should know heaven's will and have a grasp of Confucianism and Buddhism and be always aware that life and death have their determined appointment. He must aim at rising above his own self-interest at all times and bear the words of ancient sages in mind. He should be earnest to know the morals of the samurai class and furthermore should learn much about the ways of Japanese and Chinese ancient warriors who had loyalty and bravery, dedicated themselves to their lord and destroyed the enemy with tactics and all in the service of their lord. Also, he should have great interest in military affairs or the arts of war. His temperament should be that of a hero. Usually, he should not be argumentative with people. He must be gentle and dignified and, above this, have a name as being righteous and good. Within or outside of his domain, he should be reputed to be completely honest. His wife, children and relatives must be of good descent. Thus, there should be little chance that he could be a reversed shinobi. He must be well-travelled and have a good knowledge of what the manners and customs are like in various provinces. He must study hard and learn deeply the art of shinobi no jutsu, be competent in strategy, be talented at writing, skilled in all areas of ninjutsu to the highest degree, and aspire to perform merits in battle. As well as military affairs, he must also be accomplished in various arts, be it poetic, musical, uh, knowing how to dance, have the ability to impersonate others, and be proficient in all other activities and can use them to make up for any situation without blundering. Those who have the above 10 characteristics are very rare and should be called Jonin or highly skilled ninja. It is difficult to find a Jonin as mentioned above unless the Lord has profound wisdom and completely understands people just as if he can see into their mind. If he is not a sage, he cannot attain the status of Jonin. Sun Tzu says, only those who are wise will be able to employ spies usefully. <laughs>